to Jurassic Park. Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 945. Directed by Yusuke Suzuki and supervised by Kazuya Hisada. With last week being as disappointing as it was, I'm actually looking forward to what this week's episode has to offer and if it'll be any better than what the previous installment was. Yusuke Suzuki has been on a bit of a hot streak recently after stumbling a bit when he first joined the anime by packing his boards full of spacious angles and cool colors, and Kazuya Hisada's most recent episode, 937, was one that was absurdly solid and showed off what his more looser style that he adapted after stepping down as character designer was really capable of. And it looks like all those components and more are a part of 945 and then some. With the promise of at least one more pretty cool cut of animation outside of the main batch that looks to show off a looser big mom alongside more modern looking blobby effects work, this episode has the promise to be yet another home run for its primary staff and will hopefully rebound this section of the arc fairly quickly. So will episode 945 rise from the rubble of Udon? Time to head back to the mines and find out. <laughs> This episode covers the entirety of chapter 946, and has its moments of liberties with stuff like Queen trying to get an attack on Big Mom before she has him down for the count, but for the most part sticks pretty close to the original chapter alongside the usual cohesion filler that makes things like Raizo's sudden appearance make a ton more sense and thankfully enough, it helps the episode's overall pacing be pretty damn decent. Sure, the first half may feel a lot slower than the second one due to the obvious time-saving methods, like stalling Big Mom's words and having her swing around Queen for quite a bit of time, but due to the general nature of the chapter itself, it always feels like something's going on, and that's 110% appreciated after last week felt very dense content-wise. While it may not be the best adaptation that this arc has to offer because of the small blemishes upon it here and there, there is still a fun time to be had when bringing everything from page to screen like it does, and it never leaves any big moments feeling flat, which is due partially in part to Suzuki's storyboard and how it complements it all. On top of having absurdly immersive camera shakes and depth of field that focuses in and out of the frame to make it feel more cinematic per se, Suzuki hones in greatly on that sense of visual flair that I look for in Wano storyboarding, marrying it nicely with perfect usage of sound effects and music that instills fear in serious scenes and laughter in comedic ones. By using the most goofy sounding ones and distorting the music to elevate the hilarity, and it stands right up against the most vibrant display of the flower petal visual motif that's used for signifying Riwo, that as much as the power itself does. It grabs you and takes you by genuine and honest surprise around every little turn to bring some real power and eye candy to the most important bits of the episode, giving them their correct sense of weight and importance, and making for a storyboard that is not only Yusuke Suzuki's absolute best so far, but the clear opposite of what came before it. Supervisor Kazuya Hisada may not animate nearly as much himself this time around, with him instead focusing almost squarely on his loose and angular artwork, but the tiny moments where he takes it upon himself to animate individual objects in the background that are very hard to execute are more than I could have ever hoped for. And it only piles itself on top of already stupidly solid character animation that takes weight and inertia into account so well and stands right beside Mitchell Gonzalez's surprise appearance this episode that shares some of the same traits plus his oh-so-good smears, and also has some ambitious background animation. They may all be little droplets when compared to some other episodes and what they have to offer, but as a die-hard fan of character acting, especially in One Piece, it serves to only enhance the already premium feeling that this episode absolutely exudes. It's surely got some issues on the whole, and there's really no denying that, but it lived up to my expectations and then some after I was promptly let down last week despite not expecting much, and puts Yusuke's Suzuki quite a bit higher in my eyes in terms of his skills as an episode director. And I can't emphasize just how much next week's episode will only keep that hype train chugging along with episode 946 from Utaka Nakashima and featuring the animation supervisor debut of Chu 
Young Sa, our One Piece anime golden boy. From the get-go, I was already expecting so much from this next episode due to Nakashima's absurdly strong presence on his own episodes, as well as Chu's surprise debut that means a lot for his own growth as an animator. But with a preview that never stops moving for a single second and is chock full of delicious art with thick and messy lines, I'm incredibly certain that we may just be in for the best Udon episode so far, and quite possibly the best one of the entire arc. Anyways guys, that's it for now, I'm Skippy, and those chopper expressions never let up, do they?